Welcome to Lock Sportscast, your weekly source for Lock Sport News. This is episode 117, recorded September 4th, 2022. I'm your host, Charles Current. And in today's episode, first pick of the Miwa DS with serrated wafers. Lock new video hits 1 million views. First Dark Arts Lock Picking podcast. Can $20 get you a Tesla? Meetups, sales, giveaways, and more. You can subscribe to the audio version of the show on most podcast apps and at thelocksportscast.com. You can subscribe to the video version on YouTube, Odyssey, or Apple Podcasts. Links to stories discussed will be in the show notes. Full show notes can be found at thelocksportscast.com. First up in the news today, we have an article that was entitled Lafayette-based Papa Lock announces deal with National Tech Company. The article says that uh, Papa Lock has partnered with JoeBox.ai which provides home service marketplaces with an AI-based infrastructure to directly connect their customers with skilled trades professionals. It will allow Papa Lock locksmiths to also manage payments and weekly settlements via JoeBox's automated technology. It also says that JoeBox's platform will send jobs to Papa Lock locksmiths and allow them to connect with other locksmiths if they can't complete the job. It will also allow locksmiths to receive jobs from the JoeBox demand partners nationwide. JoeBox CEO Shay Bloch says, We are continuing to grow our network of partners to offer skilled trade pros an exceptional and innovative all-in-one workplace app experience. Home service professionals are keen on locking in jobs more than ever before, given today's market. And by partnering with Papa Lock, we're able to reach additional locksmith and locksmiths and help franchises gain more job opportunities from partners with the goal of enabling everyone to earn more and easily manage their payments. It also says that they evidently ran a pilot program in Alabama and Tennessee and had success with over 40 jobs completed weekly during uh, June. I'm not familiar with what Papa Lock is as a company, it says they are using fully licensed, high-quality locksmiths, but I'm not sure exactly what Papa Lock is. I didn't have time to research that. I do have concerns about this type of system, but I have voiced them before. So if you're interested, link to that article, of course, in the show notes, and you can find out a few more details there that I kind of glossed over. And uh, next up is something that uh, Lockpicking Dev posted on Twitter. The tweet said, did anybody else stop by the Bodies at Bally's exhibit while at DEF CON? They have a love locks gate in the shape of a heart. Said, I must have one. I was a bio major before computer science. And also asked if anybody knew someone he could commission one from. Now, this is is really cool. I recommend you go check out the the Twitter post because this is not your, your typical love heart. This is more an anatomical shape heart i wouldn't really call it a gate but a a art piece that is designed to have love locks posted on it so pretty cool and i think it could be pretty easily made it looks like it's just your basic flat stock formed to shape and uh, welded up if i had more time i could probably make him one but the (laughs) the podcast would have to suffer so moving on to community news we have what appears to be the first public pick of the Miwa DS with serrated wafers or drivers. I've heard it called both. Um, but uh, Red Wanderer appears to have that first public pick. This is evidently a fairly rare version of the Miwa DS, and most don't have any type of serration. He did pick the lock in two separate videos. The first one he picked, uh, he picked it once and then did a, a gut partial gut to show you what's inside but in order to get the lock to turn a full 180 degrees it takes picking it a total of three times so he did another video demonstrating that yes it could be picked all three times also noted that each of those three times it picks differently you have slightly different binding orders so interesting lock and something to check out there congratulations on red wanderer for what appears to be first public pick and congratulations to Locknoob, who posted on Twitter, Thank you to everyone for getting this video to 1 million views. 
the video link to was his video pick every type of lock so congratulations to lock noob on that huge milestone and the lock picker 1969 has hit 100 subscribers on his channel says he's trying to do something a little different than the rest of the crowd not just lock picking says he's been giving a lot of focus on diy concepts and ideas to help out lock pickers solve everyday problems and going to be doing product reviews and comparisons so be sure to stop by and check out the lock picker 1969 there'll be more about that in the giveaway section and back to twitter uh a user called straith i'm probably mispronouncing that but anyway put up a tweet that says i'm looking for broken lock picks for a project does anyone have any they'd like to offload and there were several uh comments in there about good suggestions of where to get them but i thought i would share it here as well so if you have a collection of broken picks that you have not yet thrown away might be uh worth popping onto twitter and contacting this user letting them know link of course to that tweet in the show notes and Dark Arts Lockpicking has released its first, quote, podcast uh, video. And they say it's not perfect, but we will improve as we do more. I haven't had time to watch it yet. It just recently came out. But it is a uh, video podcast style interview. I did have to give him a little bit of a poke on Twitter in that this is called a podcast, but I don't see any form of a podcast RSS feed. So it appears to be just a video series called a podcast i'm a bit old-fashioned and uh i only call them a podcast if they have an actual if they are available on a podcast player which is uh requires an rss feed but anyway looks like it could be a good series to check out so if you're looking for interviews i know i haven't been getting any done lately so check out uh dark arts lock picking's channel for the interviews they have coming up and in other videos here, Talonpick put up a video about a new design for a 3D printed distatainer picking tool that he designed. The video itself is not spoken in English, but there are English subtitles, and it is definitely worth checking out. This is a uh, really nice design with a complete uh, list of materials and uh, link to where you can download the STL files to print yourself up one. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, and the bill of materials that he has on here has links to where you can buy them. Looks like most of it on AliExpress. So be sure to check that out if you are getting into distatainer locks. And this next video is, is interesting in what it purports to demonstrate but the video itself is is the type I hate. It it is a waste of time for most of the video. Just hype and pop crap. But the video is titled "We Stole a Tesla with This Twenty Dollar Device." Like I said, pretty drawn out video. You want to skip towards the end, skip the intro. But basically, they have made a Bluetooth repeater out of a couple of cheap, readily available development boards and some clever programming and they're doing a relay attack on the phone as a key system on a tesla so might be worth checking out for those of you who know a little bit more about bluetooth and the security systems you might get a little more out of it than i did but really they don't tell much it's like i said it's one of those that's just a hype video i don't even know how accurate the information they're demonstrating is for those of you who are locksmiths or interested in locksmithing, check out CLK Supplies video, Scholarship Opportunities for Locksmithing, Up Your Game. So in the video, they talk about opportunities for ALOA scholarships. There's a program that supports uh, new locksmiths and could give you an opportunity to expand your skills and grow your business. So be sure to check that video out and uh, get all that information if you are looking to up your game as a locksmith. Moving on to meetups, we have a couple of new ones this week. Again, I'm gonna try and do them in order. I sometimes mess this up, but in the order that they will take place. First up, coming up real soon, just found out about this one, Triangle InfoSecon 2022 at the Raleigh Convention Center in Raleigh, Friday, September 9th. So coming up this weekend, 
um, after this posts. I found that through a tweet that was shared with me by Oak City Lock Sports that says that they will be bringing back the infamous ammo can lock, a lock mounted in an ammo can with a CCTV camera so you can see what is going on inside. We have Hack for Kids in Chicago on September 17th. ISSA LA's 12th Annual Information Security Summit taking place September 20th through the 22nd, of course, LA. And they will have a physical security keynote by Deviant Olaf. B-Sides Charlotte is taking place September 24th and 25th in North Carolina. And B-Sides Augusta taking place October 1st in Georgia. Here's one I haven't mentioned before. The Yankee Security Convention. That registration looks like it has opened. That will take place on October 19th through the 23rd. And they have both trade show and classes, including basic locksmithing, electronics, access controls, safes, and automotive locksmithing, and more, it says. So if you are interested in anything to do with physical security, might be a good one to check out. And that will be in Springfield, Massachusetts, I believe. And B-Sides Triad will take place October 22nd in Greensboro, North Carolina. St. Con 2022, Provo, Utah, October 25th through the 28th. And finally, B-Sides Charleston in Charleston, South Carolina, November 19th. All right, Lockpickers United belts. We have several new belts to announce this week, but just a... Something I haven't mentioned in a while and I thought I would clear up. If you request your belt on Reddit, I don't see it. I, ha I do a manual search through the Discord for belt announcements, purple and higher. But I don't automatically see, I, I don't have any visibility into anything that happens in Reddit. If you would like your belt announced and you have requested it in Reddit, please send me a note. I will be very happy to announce it. And I will announce any belt level that you're proud of. So. Just drop me a note um, or request it via the bot in Discord because I can actually search those out. Uh, I say that because I missed this one last week even, and I want to make sure I make good here. So the Lock Picker 1969 last week earned Purple Belt, so congratulations to you. And this week we have uh, Squiggle Dork earning Purple, and I'm going to butcher this name, Openalt. Hi, Nalt. Um, also earning purple. And a big congratulations this week to Lady Locks for earning brown belt. And from what I understand, jumped quite a few belts to get there. So congratulations to you, Lady Locks. Congratulations to everyone who earned a new belt this week, no matter what level. If you're not familiar with the Lock Pickers United belt system, there are links in the show notes to the rules and some videos that explain the process and why it's fun so be sure to check those out and now it's time to take a quick break say thank you to the people that made this episode possible start with the patreon subscribers we've got jimmy locks meddler panda frog michael gilchrist starry lock williams brain dave to be deciphered lee bonds locksport journey pat from unsets or tactical three raccoons in a coat trail aka anthony dr hogmaster clayton howard aka cool tune mog john lock rat yoke mr picker cranky lock picker jhp picking bare bones lock picking deadbolt cafe nwa lock picker snake we have chief content producer this week by a mile uh was Terrell, aka anthony other content producers artichoke 2000 bare bones lock picking chris capoon dark arts lock picking holly ifisk joshua gonzalez nox locks lady locks lock picking dev the lock picker 1969 and tony Vrelli. Thank you to all of you for your support. And remember that the show is only possible because of that support. So if you get benefit out of this show, please help me keep it going by supporting the show with your news, links, events, giveaway information, anything you have that you think the community should know about. That is the biggest thing you can possibly do to help keep this show going is just sending me information, whatever you have. You can send it to podcast at thelocksportscast.com or any of the other methods listed in the show notes. Don't forget, it uh, always helps to leave a review or a comment or a thumbs up, whatever the platform you choose to listen on allows. You can also uh, subscribe on your favorite podcast player or on the YouTube channel. 
If you want, you can help financially via PayPal or Patreon. If you support the show with a donation or information I use in the show, I will give you credit in the show and in the show notes. If you have feedback or you want to share a story about something that happened to you because of Locksport, you can uh, send that in the same way. Just remember to keep it reasonable length, play, work family safe, no politics, no drama. Oh, and if you send in a uh, feedback and you want it kept confidential, that can be done too. Just let me know. Moving on to sales, we have a few new ones and some that are going to be possibly expired by the time you even hear this, but I'm going to try and get this turned around real quick. Uh, Hazardous Manufacturing has a sale, and that is 20% off of the whole collection of Locksport-related tools and art for Labor Day, and it's only from September 2nd through the 5th. I will have a link to the site and the tweet that announced the sale in the show notes. Multipick has their fourth week of their anniversary sale, and they have discounts of up to 50% off. I will have a link to that in the show notes. I don't know exactly when that expires, so if you're hearing this and you want anything from Multipick, jump on as quick as possible. South Ord had a Labor Day sale, 20% off of select items with the code LDS2022, and that works through, it says, Tuesday, September 6th. So, again, get this episode. If you want something from South Ord, jump on right away. They also have their sale collections page up still as of the recording of this so you can also check that out review gurus uh link for 10 percent off at law lock tools appears to still be working i have no idea about the discount code the summer 25 20 percent off 25 percent off discount code that uh, he also shared so uh, if you want anything from there be sure to check out the twitter post that's linked in the show notes and at Bare Bones Lock Picking, the code for September is PRINCE10 for 10% off store-wide except Law Lock Tools. And at 3DLockSport.com, you can get your favorite 3D printed LockSport accessories for 10% off if you use the code LSCAST10. Mako Locks will give you 15% off if you use the code by Mako. And UKLockPickers.co.uk will give you 10% off if you use the code GIFT. Moving on to giveaways, Lockpicking Dev is doing a giveaway that was announced in video 198, which was entitled Asa Abloy Maximum Plus Picked and Gutted and Giveaway. The giveaway is to celebrate 200 videos and the 500 subscriber mark. The winners will be announced in video 200, it says, two entries per person. Also, while you're over there on Lockpicking Dev's channel, check out his latest video, 199. He was uh, doing his usual picking locks in beautiful locations on his trip back from DEF CON. So some good stuff coming up there. Lots of beautiful, beautiful shots. Lockpicker1969 has been doing weekly giveaways. And the third weekly giveaway is running as of September 3rd. The drawing will be on September 9th says typically does drawings for the giveaways on the Friday after the giveaway starts and the new giveaway is announced that very next day on Saturday. So head over there and check that out. Knox Locks has been doing bi-weekly giveaways for a total of 13 giveaways. I believe we're finishing up number three right now is still active but coming to a close soon so if you haven't yet head over there and check that out. And CLK Supplies does weekly giveaways. They're hashtag LockBoss giveaways. So if you're into giveaways, be sure to head over and check those out. And that does it for the main part of the show. Thank you, everyone, for staying tuned. And yes, I did get a haircut. Yes, it is very short. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Hopefully it's not glaring on the camera too much for those of you with the video version. On a... Uh, everyone wish me luck. I applied for a different position at work that will have a normal weekday shift. So if it's something that they think I'm qualified for and they are able to offer me a salary that we can work with, I might be able to get on a normal shift, which would make this podcast thing a heck of a lot easier. So hopefully we can get that going. Um, no guarantees. That's why the haircut was there. And uh, yeah. Like I said, mistakes were made, <laughs> but my wife uh, is very gracious and always is like, I think it looks good. So thank you again to everyone for staying tuned 
and keep sending in that information. Really, really helps a lot. Uh, Anthony uh, Terrell did amazing work this week. Just he sent in as much stuff that's used in this podcast as everybody else combined, I think. Really top notch uh, work there. Can't thank him enough. Um, and thank you, everyone who sent something in. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all listen and remember to keep it legal. Mm-hmm.